Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video, uh, once again, is not going to be about really drawing in Corel Draw, but how to draw this, or how to make this this little card holder box for like a deck of playing cards. As you can see in the other photograph, it holds a deck of cards. Uh, you could actually scale it down. This is very similar to the other box, it's, but it actually has a backside maybe to keep the cards from falling out, uh, making it a little bit stronger here with these joints. Uh, these are not glued together. They fit real tight. The, um, the rotation latch is stronger than the other latch, I think. You know, the other ones had little, a uh, little bit fragile edges and was, you know, there were two of them. You had a little bit of trouble. So when, if you do cut this out and make it, this piece right here, I've sanded very so slightly on an edge on both sides, making it more like a an arrow shaped to fit through this square hole or a rectangular hole. And this latch just spins out of the way and you open it and then it spins back to lock it tight. So other than the other box, I, I drew some uh, tabs for the third wall or fourth wall that I added. It's, uh, it's right here, the back wall. And then this is, the, of course, this piece is upside down to maybe save a little room on the, on the cutting. But this was all cut out of eighth inch plywood. Uh, eighth inch plywood makes it uh, really, really strong with this, you know, flex joint because you're talking about, you know, each one of these are a hairline cut. They cut all the way through. So I designed this where this tab right here stops when the, when the latch is locked and then stops again so it wouldn't just flip all the way around. These two pieces right here uh, are cross members that actually go inside of each other and then would fit. So to put this, to, and I'm going to try to make a video tomorrow. I'm going to cut out a second one and uh, actually make a video as I'm putting it together. But this would be your first piece. You would put these two pieces together. Now this is really, really tight. Um, so you're going to, I'm a big advocate of sanding to make it look better. You can see the box doesn't have any laser burn on it. It's all been sanded off. And if you do not sand it, it's going to be really, really tight. So I designed it so it would, uh, you know, allow for sanding. So here's your slot that the, this part's going to go through. So just real quickly, if you want to cut this out before I get the other video ready, this is your inside piece. It'll actually fit underneath this. Well, this is in the open position. Yeah, so it would fit. It would actually fit on top right here. Keeps it from falling through. So you'd put these two pieces, cross them in these little dado joints or tab joints, and then tap them in with a hammer. Uh, I would suggest on the back side where it's flush now, maybe put, put a drop of super glue or woodworkers call it CA glue. And I actually have some accelerant that'll make it dry almost instantaneously. If there's any residue left over, you can sand it off. Then you would put this piece on top of that one and then put them both on the hole with the, this piece right here would be, uh, would fit inside this hole. And you can kind of see it's already in the, in the lock position or the open position. So, uh, and it's a little bit smaller, so it'll twist. And then this piece will go on the top of those pieces. And, uh, and the, the, this to me was a lot easier to draw than those other tabs. So I've got it pretty close to the center. So if we, if we rotate, and this is how I did this, I rotated it from this axis and you could see that it, would go through that slot. So that's how I kind of designed it. That's a, you know, a really neat thing about Corel because you can actually make the parts move the way they're going to move to make sure they're going to fit. I was curious if my opening was, you know, big enough, but it was. Uh, if yours doesn't quite fit, you could, you know, sand on this outside edge or I actually sanded this part uh, of the turning knob or the turning part, uh, I actually sanded it a little bit on a downward slope on both sides. So it kind of goes in there a little easier, 
But uh, if you like the other box, I think you're going to love this one. I'm going to post it on Epilogue's fan page, Epilogue's Facebook page. And I'm going to save it as a Corel Draw X3 for more people to use. And I hope you enjoy cutting it out. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat little box. In the near future, I'm going to try to make a bigger one that would maybe hold a Bible or a precious book. And uh, kind of sh I'll show you how to do that. But anyway, your file won't have these photographs. But uh, the complete drawing, what's so neat about this, you can cut this out of a 12 by 8 inch piece of plywood. The whole thing can be cut out. So anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.